We have team coverage tonight of the vacuum truck explosion in Santa Paula. Authorities responded to the 800 block of Mission Rock Road early this morning at the Santa Clara Wastewater Company. News Channel 3's Tracy Lair is live in Santa Paula with the health concerns from this toxic blast. But first, let's start with Kelsey Gerkins, who is live with the latest on the explosion itself. Kelsey. Beth and CJ, this hazmat spill is being taken very seriously. At this point, they're just letting the fire burn itself out. They don't want anyone to get close to it because it's very dangerous and toxic. A massive explosion in the early morning hours sends dozens to the hospital. The fire initially started in the back of a vacuum truck, a truck used to suck up hazardous material at the Santa Clara wastewater facility. When the truck exploded, more than a thousand gallons of an extremely flammable substance were spilled. We have a, about a three or 400 foot radius of what we're calling a organic peroxide. Now, this is very unstable and explosive and spontaneously combust when it dries, when it crystallizes. There were two men in the truck at the time. They both had minor injuries. When firefighters arrived on scene, they realized how dangerous the hazardous material was they were dealing with. As this liquid began to dry out, when they stepped on it, it actually ignited under their feet. The substance was so flammable and toxic that officials decided to evacuate the area, which included shutting down Highway 126 in both directions from Wells Road to Peck. This created a traffic nightmare for commuters. The immediate evacuation even forced firefighters to leave their engine behind when it became stuck. They tried to back the fire engine out as it hit the substance, the substance began to ignite and ignite the tires of the engine. Contacting residents, uh, workers in the area, and uh, telling them that there is a mandatory evacuation for that one mile radius. While people were forced to evacuate, the workers at K-9 Adoption and Rescue League, which is just down the street from the explosion, said they were forced to leave the more than 70 dogs they care for on the property. I'm so worried. I mean, they're not letting people in there, but yet our dogs are still down there, so of course I'm worried. Those that live within two to three miles were asked to shelter in place. School at Briggs Elementary was canceled for the day. And because of the improved weather, the mandatory evacuation zone has been reduced to a half mile. But they're asking anyone in the area to stay indoors and keep their windows shut because this is a very toxic substance that is in the air. Also, that group from Carl, right now I'm told the sheriff's department is escorting them in there to check on the animals and make sure everything is okay. Reporting live in Santa Paula, Kelsey Gerkins, News Channel 3. Okay, thank you, uh, Kelsey. Now, at first, everyone within a mile of the blast site had to evacuate. Take a look at this map. The smaller green circle represents the evacuation area because of health concerns from those toxic fumes. That's now been reduced to a half mile, as CJ just said. Everyone within the larger green circle is sheltering in place. We're told that shelter in place area has been lifted. News Channel 3 reporter Tracy Lair is live in Santa Paula with that part of the story. Tracy. More than 40 people headed to area hospitals them were admitted. One is one of those workers. He is at Ventura County Medical Center. It is not life-threatening his injuries. And another person drove themselves to St. John's in Oxnard. And what we know is this was not sewage. It was sulfuric acid and that or organic peroxide. And it was chemicals that were at a company that recycles waste treatment. They say on the website that they don't deal with hazardous materials. But that turns out not to be the case. And we talked to a nurse from the emergency room about the injuries today. Most of the symptoms that we're seeing today are basically upper respiratory, burning in the eyes, burning in what the people are describing as kind of like a heartburn feeling, and also um, some, some came in with some skin irritation as well. Coincidentally, they had tents set up at Ventura County Medical Center in case there was ever an Ebola patient. So the tents were already set up, and they also had the decontamination showers ready to go. And they had three firefighters come in, a dozen hospital workers that treated people that then wanted to decontaminate themselves. And we're told that all of their belongings have been bagged up. And in that case, it means unless that equipment can be decontaminated, it could be a loss. And firefighter uniforms alone cost 
about a thousand dollars a person. But as for the conditions of the people that went to the hospital, they are going to be okay. The two admitted, we, they said it's not life threatening, but if people are not feeling well tonight, and that could happen as they head home from work because of what they breathe, they will be told to head to their nearest emergency room. Reporting live in Santa Bala, Tracy Lair, News Channel 3. Tracy, I have a quick question for you. Can you clarify what was the name of the company, the, drive, the driver hauling that material? It used to be called Santa Clara Waste Treatment, but it was changed to Southern California Waste Treatment. And on a website, it says it's a company that recycles and in a legal way uh, contaminated or, or chemicals that are non-hazardous. But they will be looking into that. We are already told that the, uh, the district attorney and the environmental health division will be looking into what kind of chemicals and why they were there early this morning and find out what went wrong. Because right now, this is still a hazardous situation there's even a fire truck in the middle of all this that they haven't been able to find out if the fire truck was damaged. But if it was, that would be half a million dollars in property. Okay. All right, thank you.